But uh, Spec, we got a segment over here, our perfect talk. I don't know if we ever done it with you here. It's called Winners and Losers. Somebody got to win the week. Somebody got to lose the week. Okay. And this week's winner has to be undisputed. Cameron on CNN. You said this. <laughs> you said winner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cameron wins the week. Cameron was on CNN Newslight with anchor Abby Phillip. And um, it was hilarious. I lived up to the, the fame of Cameron yes. news and interviews. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I seen it, and I, I didn't even hear it yet. It was on mute. But I seen him on I was like, this is going to be classic. And he lived up to it. Let's show the clip real quick. Everything in the video was egregious. I'm against. I don't support all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that. Did you recognize right? that I kind of really anger at all from your experiences? I don't know like that. What did you mean? Do I be recognized? Did I recognize him? I've seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I've seen him. I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but... What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to, need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. Um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um... Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that was inviting me to. Yo, who? Yo, who booked me for this joint? Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy it. When he pulls out the horsepower <laughs> and says, I'm about to get some cheeks <laughs> after this. <laughs> cheeks. But I like, I remember one of your first questions when I sent that video to you was like, why would he even go on there? If he didn't want to talk about that. And I like how he responded to that. Like he felt like he was being used mm -hmm. and they were going to use him to make another black man look bad. And he was like, no, I'm going to use this to promote what I'm doing. Y'all don't care about none of the positive stuff we do. And I'm going to use this platform to boost my podcast, my YouTube show, my plain course power. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, 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 I think he won the week. It went viral. I think, and even CNN had to be pleased, I think. I mean, for yeah. sure. I mean, they yeah. get some, you know, numbers and yeah. views and all of that. It goes viral. People clip it. People show it. I guess I just wouldn't do the interview. I'd just be like, no. But I, I also, I respect you. No, got but to this point, yeah. that's, that's, like, that's publicity. I mean, <laughs> Free I, I publicity, think. yo. That went nationwide. Like, that's a Super Bowl commercial level of publicity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, that's, I respect Cameron. I think that was a smart move on his part. And why they would think of all rappers, Cameron would be the guy... That was gonna like sandbag Puffy in that moment to me is like, I think really just because maybe off the strength of that interview that that he had uh, with Mace where they was talking about the dildo, uh, I, yes. and I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo from sink, and Sheesh. when I came out I asked him what's about he like, that's homeboy's joint you know I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, this is where you sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's word to my son, because stop breathing. I like, saw a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. I think, just, yeah. I think solely off of that. Oh, then they played the clip, too, where he asked Mace about why he didn't take him to Puff. Why he took him to Big. So, I think maybe they felt he had some Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it was him. solely off of that. yeah. Uh, no, nah, but but definitely um no he's not the one. <laughs> I don't even know fifty would have been a great guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> should have called up. Fifty, 50. would have yeah. Oh yeah. 50 and he has some I think he has a um he has rights to like a documentary coming he out. He just sold it. it. He to sold Netflix. the rights. Oh he sold the documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like no that that's which is wild. <laughs> but that's why you don't beef. There's some people you just don't beef with. 50 Cent is one of my them. My man is like, like no, I will on, destroy you. He's on you. the next level type of <laughs> I will destroy you, bro. And what this is week, your guy DJ Playboy holding it down for the Perfect Talk podcast. And thank you so much for checking out this short clip, man. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn them notifications on, and hop in the comments, baby.